Hey! Goddamn, I'm sweating my ass off, dude. What's up, everybody? It's Pickle Time, and I'm back with the Boss Man Jack. The man delivered. He gave us a rehab stream. So here we are today, showing what happened during this stream. So let's get started with part one. Boss Man's going to tell us some stories. How's it going in the rehab, as well as with the other rehab patients? He's going to show us what he's been buying, and we might just have time for him to do some gamba. All right, let's get this show on the road. I'm sweating my ass off. Dude, I'm sweating my ass off. Did you wash your ass today? Damn, that camera looking nice. No, you can't speak, you random piece of shit. It's a Goobington anyways. Goober up your nose, bitch. Goobington is not going to speak on stage. That's for damn sure. Dude, beautiful day out here in Virginia, dude. Look at this. Beautiful day. Request it one more time, Goobing, to see what happens. One more time, try it. Go ahead. All right. Ban you. Hey, bitch. What's up, guys? It's easy, bro. You just can't do drugs. I preach, I preach. I'm bored as shit, man. I want to go home and play Counter-Strike, dude. What do you do at rehab? You go to, like, meetings, like AA and NA meetings. Have you ever heard of an alcoholic? Shit like that. People tell some crazy stories, bro. I've heard some dumb shit. I've heard some dumb stories. Food's amazing, dude. Yeah. This is a Newport 100. I, did, I don't even... I have a pack, I just bummed this off somebody here. Yeah. I'm 10 days clean today, guys. Aww. 10 days clean today. So, yeah, Newports are good. I got a big fat monster can too. Hell yeah. No, I'm not having fun, but it's better than jail. That's for damn sure. You can vape, yeah, you can vape. I got my vape. It's charging in the office right now. Only four so far. This is one new baddie. Just started working here. I'm trying to... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> None. I've had no, no sex since I've been here, that's for sure. You're, you're actually, obviously you're not supposed to. You can, though. You can get away with it. I fucking had sex with this girl right after I got out of rehab when I was 19. And guess what happened an hour after we had sex? I'm serious. And guess what happened an hour after we had sex? She fucking died from a heroin overdose. I've been... I've, I've hooked up with a girl. This is my fifth time at this very rehab. Fifth time. Or fourth or maybe fourth or fifth time, but... I've been to this rehab definitely more than three times. Oh, nice shade now. Yeah. Guys, guess how much weight I've gained since I weighed in. I weighed in. I'm six foot one inch tall. So I'm six one, right? When I weighed into jail, I was 165 pounds. I'm now 183. I've gained 18 pounds. All right. For those of you who don't understand freedom units, that means he was going into rehab at around 75 kilos. And now he's at 83 kilos. Okay. God bless America. What the fuck? Like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> yeah, I was doing a lot of drugs. Eating and not doing drugs, man, yeah. Dude, I bought everybody here pizza last night. $200 worth of pizza. I bought, I bought nine pizzas and 40 wings for everybody here. No, I dropped the soap in your mom's bathroom, though, my love. She loved it. She's, she's got a weird kink like that. <laughs> got the big boy. Look, my hands aren't black anymore. Oh, my God, guys. My hands aren't black anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you can laugh it's okay clean ass fingernails dude yeah <laughs> oh dude guess what i forgot to get i bought headphones for this very occasion i got those max pros those 500 dollars apple headphones i got those because i used to use drugs and that's why you can retard shut the fuck up shady why would your hands be black because i put my fingers up your mom's vagina and that's just disgusting and dirty i'll never put my fingers in your mom's vagina ever again you fucking little bitch. Why would your hands be black? Because your mom's pussy's nasty. She needs to wash it more. She doesn't wash enough. I didn't know that when I went in there. Bitch, try to play me. We're going inside. We're going in. Mission into rehab. Here we go. I'm going to try not to show anybody's face. Wait, what did I come in here for? What did I come in here for, guys? I can't remember. Headphones, that's right. Hold on. Sky, can you get those headphones that are underneath the, the, the phones? That's on the far left. They're Apple Air Mics. Where the phones are, on the far left bottom. I bought these just for this occasion, guys. Calm down. I'm streaming. Slow it down a little bit. They're telling me to slow down. What do you think monsters do? They speed you up. Whoa. They like automatically connected them. Whoa. Connecting. Hey. Hey. It disconnected. I can't hear anything through them, though, but I guess I, I shouldn't be hearing any audio. Dude, these are $500. They look okay. I think the headphone parts are a little big, but... I'm, I literally just bought them just for my phone because I have like really nice Sennheisers that I just bought for my computer. So I actually don't like the way these look that much. I'll be honest. I don't like the way these look as much, but I'm sure they sound really good. They are very comfortable. You, you have them, Sawyer? Yeah, they're nice. They're very comfortable. I will I will admit that. I'll give you all an outfit of the day. 
Got the champion sweatpants on. There we go. Outfit of the day, got the Jordan ones. Jordan one, air, bread toes. Got the champion shorts on. Got the socks. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Chips merch goes crazy. <laughs> I am wearing a chip shirt, ain't I? I am wearing a chip shirt. <laughs> you should get some rings to match the fit. I don't like rings. I don't really like rings really that much. Maybe like one if I was married or something. I don't know. I want to listen to these headphones. I want to see what they sound like. Anybody want to play some volleyball? Volleyball, anybody? I don't want a bigger chain. Do you mean by better? Do you mean bigger? Because I like them. I like the size. I don't really want a more flashy one. 10 days clean today. I'm never going to go back to the drugs again, actually. I don't even think I'm going to smoke weed anymore. It needs to be a 20K chain. Yeah, right. 20K chain. <laughs> Rather buy a Lexus or some shit. I'm getting a car as soon as I get out of here, by the way, guys. I'm selling all my CSGO skins. Maybe besides like a few, like a cheap knife. I want to keep my case hardened AK. I really like the AK, the blue mag. And uh, I'm probably going to keep the Blaze Deagle. And probably sell like everything else and get a car. Yeah, I'm probably going to keep vaping probably, yeah. I really like vaping. Speaking of which, I should go get my vape. Yeah, let's go get my vape real quick. Oh, guess what came in the mail? I just got it right before I started the stream. Dude, I've been buying so much shit. Like, I, since I've been here, getting ordering shit here. I got a polo hoodie. It's really nice. $150 hoodie. Yeah, I'm going to sell my bong too. $600 bong, but yeah. I got a $150 polo hoodie. I got two pairs of sweatpants. Two pairs of Ralph Lauren sweatpants. They were $290 for both of them with shipping. So like $140 bucks a piece type shit. Again, sweatpants, $140 a piece. Like, what am I doing? Oh, and then I bought cologne. A big ass thing of Ralph Lauren cologne. This is what I just got today in the mail. How much do you think this was? Polo cologne. How much? I didn't even know what it smelled like. I was just like, I'm just going to buy it. No, hell no. But it was $135. Off the Ralph Lauren website, 135 just for some I don't even know what it smells like. I'm just like, yeah, I'm going to get that. He said, bro. <laughs> I know, dude, I know. I don't know, man. Can you see my face? No, I can't. No. No, I can't. Not unless I invited you up on here. No, I haven't even opened up the box yet. I just, right before they gave us our phones, that came through the mail. Like, when I went to get my phone, like, oh, this package came in, too. So I just stuck that bitch in my pocket. Red polo. Is it good? I figured the red. I love red, so I figured I went with the red polo. Yeah. Live review. Let's do a live review. All right. What we got here? Got some Ralph Lauren here. So I'll be home in like three and a half weeks, guys. Back to streaming. I don't know if I gotta go back to jail or not. Oh, it smells like shit. No, I'm just kidding. It smells good. <laughs> Whoa, look up. Damn, I got a hooker. Yeah, who wants a liquor bottle when we got the liquor out here? Ain't no, ain't anybody looking, Johnny? Johnny, nobody looking? All right, nobody's looking. They won't smell it on me. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. Oh, I got, sprayed it on my fucking headphones. You know what I'm saying? Good little little dapper, little dapper. No, hell no. You tell my THC cards? Nah, dude, no. I'm gonna be getting drug tested for like six months, probably, dude. You guys know I got arrested in August, right? I got out and failed every single piss test they gave me for cocaine. Every one of them I failed, and I didn't show up to two of them. They locked my ass right back up. I mean, what do I? What did I expect? It's like I wasn't scared of consequences. I just was like, yeah, I'd rather just get high. Going, whatever, jail, whatever. How's it? I don't get it, man. I don't get myself, but I'm done now, so. Jaco's requested to speak. You got a fucking 10 pack, buddy? You got 10 pack of subs? I'll check my Twitch chat right now. Drop the 10. Let's get I'm gonna get Alexis. That's what I'm getting. I'm gonna get Alexis. That's what I, 90%. I'm 90% sure I'm gonna get Alexis over anything else. We could gamble. Guys, let's go play some blackjack. Draw start. Draw start. Yeah, we could get him right now, yeah. I think so. I got a VPN on my phone. I would like to get a little blackjack session or something. Yeah, blackjack would be cool. No, I like, dude, I got a great cologne suggestion for you. Red Polo, it's great. It's amazing. This is this really does smell really good. Instantly gonna be slaying three times as much pussy. Easy, easy. <laughs> it does smell good though, it really does. It smells like Jesus's vagina. Have you guys seen that movie? It smells like God's vagina. I don't have to hide my hands anymore. I would just, you guys want to see something fucked up? When I was in, I want to say 11th grade or 12th grade in high school, I was towing at the skate park. I always used to skate a lot. I was at my skate park and my buddy of mine, who I was actually pretty scared of, was like, hey, Austin, you won't fight me right now? I was like, oh no. I didn't, I kind of ignored it. And then my, this other guy named Corey was, he was kind of instigating it. He was like, yeah, he said, you're a bitch. I said, what? He said, yeah, you're a bitch. You won't fight me. I busted his fucking ass. I beat the fuck out of him. But while I beat the hell out of him, I broke my finger. Look at this finger right here. Look at this one. You guys see how it's crooked at the top? Look at the one that's kind of shaking right here, this one. Yeah, I broke my finger 
fucking him up. So, but I beat his ass, and he was leaking all over the place. He, I bet he, I swear to God, you can ask my friends from where I'm from. I put it on my, I put it on my life, put it on my mom's life. All right, guys, do you believe my story, huh? Huh? You rats. Hey, you stupid dumb rats, you think you can take me on? Look how tough I am. I totally beat this kid up when I was 12, okay? Are you scared yet? Man, boss man's quest for validation is it just has no limits. That's how far he will go. Talking about how he beat up a kid when he was like 10. Who cares? God, he's so desperate. Let's hear boss man respond to the knocking out his brother cold allegations. Yeah, I did knock my brother out cold a long time ago because the brothers fight, you fucking weirdo. Get permanently banned from my Discord. See you later, buddy. See ya. Don't joke about that. He, my face even looks like more round, doesn't it? Then like I have my jaws, like what do they call it? Sunken in jaws. I don't really have that as much anymore. A little bit, but not as much. Yeah, I was really bad, dude. I was way too skinny. I like Monster more, I think, more. I used to really like Red Bull more, but no, I'm not going to quit gambling. Hell no. I'm just not going to do drugs anymore. I'm going to stay sober. You guys like my haircut? Look at the fade on the side. Got a little fade and everything. Yeah, here, I missed you guys, man. Who can I send Apple Pay or Zelle or... Oh, I know somebody. Let me hit him up right now. We can gamble for hours. I got hours, dude. Do you know that jaw thing I do? Because the cocaine? I still have that kind of... It's like almost like a... Like something... Like a habit. I swear I'm clean, though. I really am clean now. But I like move my jaw and shit weirdly. It makes me look slow. I'll be like... Yeah, guys, during that last stream I did before I went to rehab, yeah, totally just to take, okay? I totally didn't smoke everything I had in the house still before I went to rehab. No, no. Anyways, I'm just trying to stop doing that, okay? I'm trying to stop. It'll die. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. I think so, too, yeah. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure it will, yeah. Because I've never really quit before. I've just always... I've been doing cocaine, guys, for, like, five years, man. I'm not kidding. I've been... I, well, I don't want to get into too much into detail, but I consumed it in different ways, as you guys know, so... I'm done doing it, though, so there's really no shame in my game now. I just, Yeah, I fucking sniffed it for, like, three years, and I smoked it for a while, too, so... It was bad. Really bad. Oh, it's way different than weed. It's really bad, man. Really bad. It's really, really bad, man. I, no one should ever try it. Drugs are bad. You shouldn't do drugs. Come on, guys. Oh, yeah, I can't even get my bait. That's right. Yeah, weed's okay. I'll, I can sit here and tell you weed's okay. Hey, Blue. Can you give me my vape right to that purple vape right there? God, what is it with Austin and having to ask someone else to do something for him? Can he just go and grab the thing himself? Is something physically stopping him from doing so? Or is he just a narcissist and has to have someone else do something for him? Anyways, kitchen tour. Food's delicious, dude. I'm gonna show him the kitchen or whatever. No, yeah, you're good, you're good. Uh, yeah, all right, fine, real quick, real quick. All right, you don't care if you're in it? All right, all right. Here's the kitchen, look at this, guys. Look, they got, they got the coffee maker, orange juice on deck, creamer, Sweet tea, unsweet, icy machines, say what? Icy machines, all day. You can get it all day you want. So she's crazy. Look, leftover breakfast, the half brown potatoes, eggs, pancakes. There was biscuits and like, and like um, what do they call this? Chip, chip, chippy, chip gravy? Sausage gravy. Sausage gravy, sweet tea, got bagels, muffins. Dude, you got the cereal on deck, cereals, bro, cupcakes. Go in here. Got chips, dude. Like, I'm a dude. This is cheaper than a hotel, by the way. It's like a hundred dollars a day, I get most. Dear Lord, it's all slop. Grade A slop. Jeez. This is what constitutes as fine dining for Austin here. I know, it's paradise grid jail, yeah. It's like no kidding, dude. It's like an elevator. It's like an elevator in this bitch. There's an elevator in this bitch. What? Got right here in the foyer. Got shit going on right here. Beautiful women. You know. Sorry. She didn't like she didn't like that very much. <laughs> she, I said, there was a girl, there was a girl sitting there. I said, beautiful women. She said, <laughs> damn, bitch. I'll just call you ugly next time then, bitch. I'll just say, look, ugly ass bitches in this motherfucker. <laughs> you fucking bitch. What the wrong with people? She actually looked kind of, she looked okay. Beautiful, not really. Damn, bitch. <laughs> she looked like, how dare you call me that? How dare you? I hate people. I would tap that, yeah. Probably was. She's like a redhead. Like a thick redhead. All right, guys. We're digging into the ice cream sandwich. Yeah, I got to go to like, like four a day, dude. It's, except on the weekends, it's really chill. Mmm. <laughs> you guys want a bite? Here you go. Open wide. Open wide. Let me get a bite for real. <laughs> Damn that ice cream nice. Dude, it's pretty hectic. On weekdays, you have a meeting at 7.30 until 8.30. And then you got one from 9.30 to 10.30. Then you got one at 12 to one. Then you got one to 2.30 to 3.30. Then you get a little break until seven. And that goes until like eight. 
Then you got a, a, nine, a 10 step meeting, which is like, like 930 meetings every day. It is. It's a lot of meetings and you hear the same shit over and over, but it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. You know, it's way better than jail. No, hell no. I'm not the youngest. I'm 29, dude. Well, there actually isn't very many young people here this time. It's a small group. This is my like fourth time here. Usually there's like a few 18 year olds and shit. Yeah, it's boring at the worst. Yeah, it gets boring. Weekends are chill. This is chill. Talking to you guys. This is fun. I like doing this. This is cool. But on the weekdays, it's boring. Yeah. Beautiful day out though. Look. A little getting a little cloudy, kind of not really, but nice little chill spot I'm at right now. Right under the tree. Look at the tree. Look at all the hella trees. I'm like in a fucking jungle right now. I don't know what's gonna happen after I complete the 30 days. They might make me want to get a job, like a real job. I doubt it though. I mean, I really do have a job. Streaming is a job if you think about it. But no, yeah. Oh, shit, scared the hell out of me. Scared me. Oh. That dog has balls this big. That dog's balls are this big. They're this big. He had a ball set. Oh, my God. Holy shit. <laughs> Making me look small. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Damn, those balls big. <laughs> he ain't pulling up nowhere. You see what the fuck? It's four, five. Bang! Bang! The four five special bitch, forty four Magnum motherfucker. Huh? The Yeah, I'm not worried about it. People have been posting about me on YouTube forever. I give a fuck less about a no pickle chode meister. Pickle chode, pickle cuck. Yeah, for real. Yeah, dude, I got recognized here. I swear to God, I have never been recognized from my streams in person yet until I came here. And someone said, "Dude, I've seen you on YouTube." I was like, "Nah." He's like, "Yeah, dude, you gamble, right?" I was like, "Yep." He's like, "Yeah, dude, your shit's sick." <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> I'm sorry guys. Uh I'm switching the channel name. My my name is now gonna be Pickled Trolled Meister. <laughs> oh my god. I laughed my ass off when I saw this part. <laughs> uh but uh it's made me feel a certain kind of way to know that some of the guys there recognize Austin probably very likely because of my videos. <laughs> That's <clears throat> I love it. The train's gonna keep rolling, Austin. I'm gonna keep making videos on you. I'm glad you like them. He was being cool, though. I was like, what the fuck? No, I don't know who that is. No, I don't know who that is. Some weirdo trying to be like me or trying to be me. I went to jail when I was 19. I didn't even stream then. Maybe someone said that. You can get a hit, yeah. Open wide. <laughs> Suck it in. Suck it. Here, let me... <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with me, dude? There's something wrong with me, dude. There's actually something wrong with me. I don't know what it is. Got the fresh J's on, you know what I'm saying? Stepping in my Air Force, in my J Air Jordan 1s. Yeah, you can vape, yeah. You're not supposed to inside, but even like the, some of the employees do. They don't really care. You can smoke cigarettes, too. Most rehabs, you cannot smoke cigarettes or vape. This rehab, you can. <laughs> Another cool thing about this rehab is every single person that works here was a former drug addict or an alcoholic, so they know what you're going through. Where like other ones that are like 30 grand, they'll like have all these pro tips, but they don't know what the f you're going through. They don't even know what it's like. So I think that's kind of cool about this one. They test for everything though. Like you can't do, you can't do Kratom or anything. Like they test for everything. You cannot use any kind of mind altering subs, uh, chemicals or substances. Uh, this one in particular is only 3,200 a month, which is a kind of a lot. But when you think about it, man, that's cheaper than a hotel. And like hotels have like fucking like, not like all that shit in the kitchen and shit, you know? It's 3,200 a month here. I had to pay it out of my own pocket, so. Well, I did, I offered to. I thought it was the only thing right. I think my dad offered to pay for it, but I was like, no, nah, dude, I got it. So I already paid for it. Round of applause, round of applause for Mr. Bossman for doing what is basically expected of him. But yeah, g give yourself a pat on the back, Austin. Yeah. I'm not sure he actually paid off his parents for the bond that they had to pay back in the previous jail visit, but. Okay, but the cherry train doesn't stop there. Next is gonna tell us what he did for the people at the rehab. I guess we're in the charity man Jack arc. <laughs> Last night we had like grilled chicken with like Parmesan, like Alfredo sauce on it. It was fucking delicious. But I didn't eat much because I ordered nine pizzas. I bought pizza and I bought, um, okay, sorry, wings. I was watching these people over here. I bought 40 wings and I bought nine pizzas. And there's only like 18 of us in here right now. So there was plenty of food. Actually, you guys want to hear something kind of funny? I ate so much pizza last night, I threw up. <laughs> I'm not even kidding, dude. I threw up, dude. I ate so much fucking pizza, bro. <laughs> I've never done that before. That was my first time eating so much where it made me throw up. I've never done that. Gamble! Let's go gamble! 
Let me see if my buddy wrote me back. I actually owed him money from before I went to jail, I guess. I probably totally forgot. I totally forgot about that. Because they, I guess they're afraid, like, you'll contact your drug dealers and shit, have drugs delivered, and they want you to focus on your recovery and shit for the week, you know, instead of, like, outside things. It makes sense. I'm, I'm sponsored by Chips. I believe I'm still sponsored by Chips, I believe. Hopefully. If not, I'll get another sponsor, whatever. Oh, shit balls. I'm gonna have to make a new account. I always forget my password and shit. I'm 6'1". 6'1". 6 foot 1 inch. Yeah, I'm definitely filling in. I hope I'm not, like, chubby by the time I get out. I hope I'm not. If I am, I'm gonna... I'm gonna work out with my dad because I want to help my dad get in shape. My dad's really big. My dad's like, I'm not trying to put his info out there, but he's like 300 pounds plus. So I'm gonna try to help my dad out. Yeah, I'll skate. I'm gonna work out with my dad and go walk around the neighborhood every day or something. Lifting weights. I should lift weights. I should. I would look good. Be nice and healthy and be buff. Get buff. Get girls. Win win. Yes, sir. Hell yeah. I'm gonna be way more confident, dude. I'm like, I'm already like, my self esteem's already gone up some, you know, since I stopped using drugs and shit. Sell that bong, get a treadmill. Anybody want to trade a treadmill for a bong? Crazy trade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not really feeling the workout anymore. I'm kind of just kind of leaning toward uh, smoking weed. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, go ahead and trade that over. Hmm, what to do? Oh, yeah, let me check my messages. Sorry, guys. Let's go gambling here in a minute. Hold on. Okay, so one. Okay, that's 237 that I owe him. Let me send that to him now. 4600 What the fuck is that? I cast out a $10,000 knife. I've been shopping, dude. And I had to pay for rehab. I got more skins. Got more camos. I've been telling people here in rehab about my camos and how I sold one for 10000 Some of them don't even believe me. I was like, dude, I, I swear to God. I swear. They they hold value like that. They, they, some people just can't believe that. That a game's camos could hold. They don't understand it, though. But I know, right? That's true, Wubba Lub. That's true. I've heard a lot of stories of people like, where they like would finesse people on Facebook for $20 and shit. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. Like, 20 bucks. Like, yeah, dude, I had to get my fix. I just... I, Figure any way out to figure out how to get 20 bucks or whatever. I can do a room tour. Yeah. Not right this second, but give me just a second. Let me um, tell him I sent what I owed him. 250 or 500? We got to a five, maybe 250. Yeah, I think so. Man, I'm glad I, I'm glad he remembered that I owed him because I had no idea I owed the dude. <laughs> I had no idea. Going to jail and then coming here, it totally made me forget about that. Dude, my face even looks like more like round kind of. I mean, my, my cheeks are a little sunken in still. But I don't, I definitely look healthier, I think, I'd say. Especially with the haircut, you know what I'm saying? The haircut. I gotta shave my little goatee, not my mustache. Mustache ain't going nowhere. I might trim it up. Dude, I bought all sorts of shit to do online so far. I got, oh, I got the, dude, oh my God, guys, guys. Oh my God, they're right there. It's like, where the guys put my new headphones at? Dude, oh my God. You know how fast somebody would steal these, dude? Holy shit balls. Mm -hmm. Thank God you found them. Oh my God, I know. Check them out, guys. These are the Apple headphones. They're the, See like a little volume scroll there, some type of button there. Kind of an interesting headrest thing. But dude, very comfortable, very comfortable. They're 500 bucks. I heard some type of noise. <coughs> I just gambled for them. Yeah, this triple chuck here, Hunter, dude. <laughs> Tell you a sub day on Twitch. Oh, is it? Dude, I would be on Twitch. I can't figure out my login. I do not remember my password. I don't remember my email password. So I gotta do it when I get back on my computer. It's weird as shit. I have a different phone number linked to my Twitch, apparently. I put in my phone. It's like, use your email or your phone to verify you're the owner of the account or whatever. So I clicked phone and it said, please use a valid phone number. I'm like, what the f what? I've had this phone number for the longest time. I don't I don't get it, but whatever. How does it feel to be the richest guy in rehab? Well, pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I was just kidding. I did buy everybody pizza last night and wings. It's like a quarter thousand, dude. It's 200 bucks and I left like a $40 tip or some shit. A quarter thousand dollars. Like, look, look, look what I got in the mail. $135 polo cologne. <laughs> smells so good. You can get the headphones off. It does smell really good. We're all friends. We all, it's kind of like high school again, dude. It's kind of kind of cringe, actually. We have like this meeting at nighttime where it's just the people that are in the rehab, where all the other meetings, people from outside the rehab that aren't actually in here can come. And the ones at nighttime are cringe. Like, they're just, everyone's so judgmental, like, laughing at each other and, like, trying to make people feel pressured. It's, it's weird. It's weird. Like, I guess you could say drugs can, like, stunt your maturity and shit. There's a lot of immature people in here that are, like, grown-ass adults. I can tell you that much. A lot of immature adults here. But it doesn't bother me. I know. That's what I'm saying. You got to help each other out, dude. Like, dude, 
a lot of us are here for legal troubles too. Like we weren't like here like by choice, you know. So it's like, dude, come on, man. A lot of us are dealing. Dude, there's a guy dealing with some serious shit, like like four ounces of cocaine and like pistols and shit. They found like pistols on them and like cocaine. That's years, years, like minimum, dude. Like, he will be doing at least a year, probably. You know. So it's like, dude. Yeah, he's cooked. He's cooked. Yeah. My situation is not that bad, thank God. I might actually, I might end up doing more jail time though, guys. I might. I don't know yet. I'm hopefully, hopefully not. I'll fucking throw down five, ten thousand on a lawyer. I don't give a fuck. If that means I don't gotta go back to jail, I'll do it. Dude, I hope I don't go back to jail. Hey guys, give me two minutes. I'll be right back, okay? I'm gonna call Chips real quick and not to see, not to see what's up with the sponsorship, but I'm gonna see what's up with my account and see if they can either log me back in or if they can make sure I can make a new, new one. So I'll be right back, guys. You guys can just chill in here, and I'll be right back. Peace, peace, peace. So now we're balls deep in the rehab arc. I guess we can all agree that he's definitely sober now. Definitely was not sober back when he did the stream at his place. So we'll see if he stays sober. He said he's going to be tested during the rehab and then for another six months. Is he going to cock it up? Very likely. Is it going to be funny? Yes. Is it going to be sad? Also yes. Now this isn't the end of this rehab stream. On the next video, I'll be showing you guys what happened next. He may or may not have spent a whole hour trying to figure out how to get his chips account set up and be able to gamble. Maybe. I don't know. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch y'all on the next one.